So let's go through it. All right. So we have 3x squared minus 4x minus 32. And when simplifying this problem, well, actually, I'm sorry, what we need to do is factoring this problem. Uh, what we need to look at is, first of all, see if we can factor out any common terms. So we notice that we have a, a 3 in it as our a in our quadratic form. And a lot of times we want to factor out that term. See if can we factor out a 3 out of all of these terms. Unfortunately, we cannot factor a 3 evenly out of the 4. So therefore, we're going to have to factor this using a different method. Now, by following the AC method, if you guys remember, when we put quadratics, when we have them in this format, we can create a little x to help us factor this polynomial. So what we can do is, on top, we do a times c. So 3 times negative, 3 times negative 32 is going to give us negative 96. And then we take our b on the bottom, which is negative 4. Then what I need to do now is determine what two numbers multiply, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 96, but then add to give me negative 4. So we have to start looking through our factors, and we come up with negative 12 and 8. So here's where a lot of times where we get in trouble. When we did, when we had one as x, when we had a one in front of our x squared, we could write these as part of our as part of our factors. We would just write x minus 12 x plus 8, right? That's what we would do when x was e when a was equal to one. But since we have a three in front of there, we, these are not going to be your far, your factors. What we need to do is rewrite them as our two middle terms. OK? Do you guys notice how negative 12x plus 8x gives you negative 4x? So I'm just rewriting the problem. But I rewrite it. So now I have a, I have a um, polynomial with four terms. And to factor a polynomial with four terms, we factor by grouping, right? Whenever we look at four terms, we always want to think of grouping. So now I factor out the first two terms. I can factor out a 3x, and that's going to leave me with an x minus 4. Out of these two terms, I can factor out a positive 8, and that's going to leave me with an x minus 4. Now, the second part of factoring by grouping is you factor out what else they have in common, which is an x minus 4, which then leaves you with a 3x plus 8. There's a, lot of, there's a couple other different ways to do it, but the main important thing why we have to do through this two, second step because if you just do x minus 12 times x plus 8, right? that's what we've done like on easier problems, this doesn't multiply to give you that. Right? Factoring is taking a polynomial and rewriting it as a product of its factors. This times this are not the factors of that. This times this does not multiply to give you that. So what's, mul what's affecting this graph is that 3. That 3 is affecting your factors. So we use this method to account for the 3, and then to factor it correctly. All right. So just remember, whenever you have a number that's larger than 1 or other than 1 in for your term, you're going to want to be looking for factoring it in this method. OK? Wait, why are we factoring? Why are we factoring? Yeah. 